All right, so here we're dealing with complex fractions. My goal is to get this into one fraction and this one into one fraction. Once I can do once I do that, I can multiply by the reciprocal and solve. So first I need to deal with the top and the bottom separately. For me to add these together, I need to find a common denominator. My common denominator would be p minus 1. Okay, since this first fraction was missing the p minus 1, I need to multiply this whole thing by p minus 1, which means I need to distribute. 2p times p is 2p squared. 2p times negative 1 is a negative 2p. This second one already had the p minus 1, therefore I don't have to do anything to it, and I have 5. Now I can combine my terms together. I get p minus 1 on the bottom and 2p squared minus 2p plus 5. Okay, therefore, now I have my whole top as a fraction. I need to do the same thing to the bottom. My bottom common denominator is p. Therefore, I need to multiply this top by p. So 3p times p is 3p squared. This bottom already has the p, so all I'm going to do is rewrite it with the 2. Now that I have a common denominator, I can combine them. Okay. Now I have a fraction over a fraction, so what I need to do is multiply by the reciprocal. So I get 2p squared minus 2p plus 5 over or p minus 1. I'm multiplying by the reciprocal, so I'm going to multiply and I'm going to flip p over 3p squared minus 2. Now, if I could simplify, if I could simplify this, I would simplify it, but there's no way for me to simplify this. Okay, if I could simplify this, I would simplify it, but there's no way for me to simplify it. So all I'm going to do is multiply this problem out. So this p, I need to distribute to everything. p times 2p squared is 2p to the third. p times negative 2p is a negative 2p squared. And p times 5 is 5p. On the bottom, I'm going to FOIL p times 3p squared is 3p to the third p times negative 2 is a negative 2p. Negative 1 times 3p squared is a negative 3p squared. And negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. So the only last thing I need to do is just get this in order because it's kind of out of order. We can't combine anything. So I get 2p to the third minus 2p squared plus 5p all over 3p to the third minus 3p squared minus 2p plus 2. And there's my final answer.